with the pledge to the flag. Everybody, if you got to hit any headgear, take your headgear off, please. Thank you. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Good evening, all. I'd like to start with off by thanking Alan Taylor, national president of the Taylor's organization, for putting this uh, candlelight vigil together. Also, I want to put a big thank you out for the Porter and New Caney Fire Department. You know, they, they are uh, they're a big backbone to the community. And that's pretty much what the, the Taylor's organization is all about, too, is, you know, backbone to the community. So, okay, so for, uh, I'm Roger Schmalz. I'm the president of Bikers Without Borders. We're a Christian motorcycle group and the supporters of the Taylor's organization. I'll be starting off with the names of the teachers and students that list their lost their lives along with comments made from, the, from some of the loved ones. I will pause before I go over the names so everyone with a candle can get the candle lit because we don't want to light them at this time. And then everyone else, if you don't have a candle, you can turn your light on on your, uh, on your phone. Okay, yeah, please wait for the instructions. And uh, also helping me this evening is the chaplain with uh, Taylor's organization, Harry Sander. He will be doing the prayer on, on the end after I finish up with my, my role. Okay, as we all know, Memorial Day is just a few days away. I would like to say a few words about this very important holiday. Its importance is of remembering all of the soldiers who gave their ultimate sacrifice during, and for, you know, alongside with those who died in service of the United States. Since the 1970s, Memorial Day is officially celebrated on the last Monday of May, also known as the first day of summer. Now, with a show of hands, who here is either on active duty, a member, uh, a veteran, a spouse or family member of a veteran that is no longer with us? With a show of hands. All right, let's give them applause. We thank you for your service. Let's also have a moment of silence for the veterans who have sacrificed their lives for our country. Thank you. Now, the reason we're here for this candlelight vir vir uh, vigil, of course, is for the Rob Elementary. It's it's hard. It's you know it's hard to speak of it. You know. I'll, I'm doing my best to keep my posture here. It's, it's, it's just amazing. You know, when you have young kids, even in your family, you have grandkids, and you see something like this, it's just, it's devastating. It's, you know, it's just, you know, deeply disturbing, heart-wrenching. I mean, words just don't do any justice. Nineteen students, two teachers, lost their lives in a very gruesome way. We're here to show support for their surviving family and members and friends. We pray our prayers will bring healing. The pain is so hard. <clears throat> they lost so many friends in such a short time. Some of us went through the same pain during the pandemic. I know, but 21 people so suddenly? That's very, very saddening. I know mental health and bullying are all too often not addressed accordingly. Now before I go over the names of all the, the teachers and the students, let's have another few seconds, moment of silence.
Thank you. Okay, we have a. I'll probably put my cheaters on. This printing is a little smaller. <laughs> okay, the two teachers involved is a, and some of these names are Spanish names. Um, I do not want to show any disrespect and this you know, mispronounce them, but I'll do my best on that. The first one is Eva Morales, fourth grade teacher. She was uh, involved in the, the killing. She was 44 years old, fourth grade teacher at the elementary school. She was remembered as a mother and a wife with an adventurous spirit. Next teacher, Irma Garcia, taught at Robb Elementary for more than 20 years and was a co-teacher with Eva Morales, according to the Uvalde Consolidated Independent School District. She and her husband were married for 24 years. They had four children. That hurts, according to the district biography. She enjoyed barbecuing with her family, listening to music, and traveling to Concan, Texas. Her eldest son, Christian, was completing Marine Corps boot camp. And her son, Jose, is a student of the Texas State University. She also has two daughters, Liliana, who is in high school, and Alessandra, who is in middle school. The students, we have Yusea Garcia, eight-year-old student. And uh, he had passed on, according to his grandfather, Manny Renfo. The, the, some of the words they say about him, Renfo, he says, the sweetest little boy I've ever known. I'm not just saying that because he was my grandchild. Renfo recalled Gaseo last visited him in San Angelo during spring break and described how they enjoyed playing football together. Then we have Makina Elrod, 10-year-old girl. And a post from the Elrod sister on Twitter. Move up, move up. truck's got to go. We good? Okay. Okay. And we have a, a Makina Elrod, 10-year-old student. And a post from the, her sister's Twitter account stated, my baby sister has finally found, was finally found in the classroom. Thank you everyone for sending their love to my family. And I ask, all I ask is that you hug your loved ones tonight and tell them you love them. You never know when you don't have the chance <clears throat> to do any more. We have uh, Jose Flores Jr. Jose was a 10 year old boy, and um, Christopher Salzasar described his nephew to the Washington Post as a very happy little boy who loved his parents and loved to laugh. He told the outlet that Flores Jr. has been rewarded for making the honor roll. He was very smart, Salzar said. He wasn't a kid who would look for trouble. Then we have Rogelio Tor Torres, 10-year-old boy. Torres' father was initially desperately searching for him he what they didn't know for sure if he was in the in the in the group in the classroom. And when his father was told about the situation, he rushed to over to, to help his son. And we have Xavier Lopez, ten year old student. Xavier's cousin, fifty year old Lisa Garza of Arlington, Texas, said that he looked forward to spending the summer months swimming. 
And he, uh, Xavier, who was also you know, a very loving 10-year-old boy, just enjoying life, not knowing that this tragedy was going to happen today. He was very bubbly, loved to dance with his brothers, his mother, and now he has taken a toll on all of them. Then we have Amaria Joe Garza. Amaria, 10 year old girl, just celebrated making the honor roll in her fourth grade class. According to a photo obtained from the KSAT TV, Amaria Joe's father confirmed on Facebook that his daughter was killed after a seven hour search to find her. That's heartbreaking. Uh, it just, you just can't put words on something like that. And uh, they thank everyone for the prayers that about them, you know, that they found the baby, their baby girl. Yeah. <clears throat> Annabelle Rodriguez, ten-year-old, was in the third grade. She was in the same classroom as her cousin, who was also killed. Elijah Torres. 10-year-old, was also unaccounted for, for in the hours during the shooting spree. The fourth grade student's grandmother told Fox News on Tuesday that, that, that they were worried that she is dead. Well, she was confirmed to be dead by Fox News. Alima Garcia, she was very happy and very outgoing. She's a, her fifth grade teacher at Flores Elementary School in the same school district said on Wednesday. She loved to dance and play sports. She was big into family, enjoyed being with the family. We have JC uh, Lubanos. And uh, they didn't give the age on this particular student. But this student reportedly did not want to go to school on Tuesday. Still can't believe that we're never going to see you again, his aunt wrote on Facebook. Julia Silguerero was a cousin to J.C. Lovanos. Her mother, Veronica, told Univision that her daughter did not want to go to school Tuesday, and that seemed especially bad. She sensed that something especially bad was going to happen. Now, kind of sounds like a godly thing to me. She, she could feel that, you know, it's like, you know, that's hindsight. Tess Mata, Tess Mata, who went by Tessie, was a fourth grader who loved TikTok, dance videos. Ariana Grande and the Houston Astros, as the Washington Post reported. And then uh, they got uh, her sister says, Sissy, I will miss you very much. That's what she wrote on her Facebook page. And we have Alexandra Rubio, fourth grade student. And the, uh, the mother of Alexandria had, was full of pride when she posted a family photo on Facebook to boast about her daughter's all-A honor roll. It's amazing. She received for excellent grades. She also received the Good Citizen Award. Kimberly Mata Rubio wrote, We were told... We loved her and would pick her up after school. That's hardening. We had no idea this was goodbye. Jackie Cazares, 10 year old student, and this one just said that, you know, she was killed alongside her cousin, Annabelle Rodriguez. Then we have Nava Bravo fourth grade student, and uh, unfortunately, my beautiful 
Nava was one of the many victims of today's tragedy. Rest in peace, my sweet girl. You didn't deserve this. These are posts from, from Facebook. Now we have Layla Zalazar, 10-year-old student. Layla loved to swim, dance to TikTok, and was just a whole lot of fun, her father said. He recalled his daughter was fast, winning six races at the school's field day and posting a photo of Layla showing off two ribbons on Facebook. And we have uh, Alethea Ramirez, 10-year-old student. She was also in the, uh, the fourth grade. And her father said she loved to draw and inspired to be an artist. Having set out to fulfill her dozens, her dream, when she recently sent in a drawing for a Google Doodle contest. Mate Rodriguez, 10-year-old student. Mate Rodriguez posted for photos for honor rolls before the shooting. The Fort Worth Telegram reported. Now we have Miranda Mathis, 10-year-old student. In a Facebook post, the cousin of Miranda announced the child's death. This is just so, just too, so hard my baby cousin, all these babies, it's so unbelievable. I'm so hurt, everybody, because we lost babies in this. That's the, the end of the list. So what we're going to do at this time is we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take a, a short break. Now we're going to bring the chiefs up, but they're, are they both going on a, on a rip? Okay. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to light up all the candles, and then after the candles are lit, I'm going to have Harry Sanders, the chaplain of the, the Taylor's organization, do a prayer, and then after the prayer, that'll be the end of the candlelight vigil. Again, thank you all for coming out this evening. You know, we're, the, the, the support is, is really, really amazing. Thank you. Please remove your hat covers and let us pray. <clears throat> Lord, you are our strength in this time when the anguish of a child's death surrounds us and our grief is unending, O oh Lord. Our children are the light of the life of our life, yet precious in your sight as well. We love you, Lord. For you have heard our appeal for mercy. You are gracious and righteous and full of compassion. Our soul will return to its rest knowing that you are good. Lord, we bring every one of these grieving parents, friends, and the community, community of Uvalde into your throne of grace. They are going, to, they are going through so much pain after the loss of their, of their children. Comfort them. 
Help them to continue being faithful to you through, through the pain. Lavish them with your love and fill the void left in their hearts with your unconditional love. Grant these families the peace and surpasses of all understanding during this trying moment as they mourn the loss of their children. Heal their broken hearts, bind their wounds, remind them of your promises about heaven and eternity, that they, that they know that their child is in your presence right now. Lord, help our friends and our neighbors in Uvalde who have lost their child to come to terms with what has happened. May you have constant communion with you during this difficult time and finish shelter of your presence. Remove anger and bitterness from their hearts and help them to accept the demise of their beloved child. Take away and fill their hearts with your light. Help them to walk in love and fill them with joy and everlasting. Lord, turn your mourning into dancing by reminding them about eternity. Lord, lift these families who lost their beloved child tenderly, comfort them. Gracious Lord, in Jesus' holy name, we believe and pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, the uh, visual, the Canal Visual has uh, concluded. Uh, I do want to thank everyone that did come out. Thank you, uh, uh, the fire department and everybody else. We thank y'all so much. And y'all have a blessed weekend. And again, remember our what uh, Monday is all about. And uh, let's honor our uh, fallen. Thank you very much.